I hope you know that both good and bad things can disrupt God's position in your life. For instance, there are people today who keep saying, Lord, I love you with all my heart. Until the day somebody gives you a hundred million cash or one billion, the appetite for prayer dies as you are receiving that money immediately. Because you find out that many of your prayer requests was driven by your need for bread and tea. And now the passion to pray and to fast is no longer there. How about when God announces you as a man of God and everybody already knows you as a man of God? What is the need to study again? What is the need to pray again? What is the need to fast again? After all, the nations know you. You see that? There are many people who leave God in the face of plenty. There are many people who leave God in the face of glitz and glamour. They leave God in the face of when they evolve to versions of, the, of themselves that the nation celebrates. You see, many of them will leave the things of God. So before you begin the journey with God, he probes you and says, let me work on you and furnish you to become a vessel unto honor. There is a level in life when you grow in terms of increase financial increase or in influence there are certain groups upon the earth that watch the growth of men like a meter when you hit a certain threshold they will come and meet you they will sell you ideas and say join us become part of us and there are privileges you will enjoy if you have not met them they are coming just keep rising i assure you by the god of heaven you know what i'm talking about and you know i'm not lying in every state in every city in every region and in every nation there there are groups of people mandated by the devil whether they know they are used by him or not you keep rising let your company keep rising let your ministry keep rising one day there will be a knock on your door spiritually or physically you will be called into a conversation and they'll say we are proposing to you this now you will understand what the Bible means when it says, what shall it profit a man when he gains? Show me the market where you do that kind of business. That you gain the whole world and lose your soul. If I want to sell my soul now, call the name of the shop for me that I will go. What shop in Enugu receives souls and gives them the world in exchange? Yet the Bible says there is a mysterious marketplace on earth where what you sell is not spare part where what you sell are we together is not clothes the commodity is your very soul and there are men that market is a busy market till tomorrow satan proposed it to jesus he said come the third temptation the first temptation of jesus is the first temptation that every man will go through the temptation of need bread your food turn this stone to bread manipulate ministry to satisfy your hunger manipulate the people that go. it is within your power to turn stones to bread and by the time hunger is there he will not come when you are full he will come when there is crisis in the ministry he will come when you need to send your children to school and says remember you're a prophet can't you just call some numbers and somebody will come and give you money can't you quote can't you prophesy the account number of the person and receive 10 million why struggle and have to go through the cross when you can just bow to me and have the world now can i tell you we're examining the heart condition of man i hope i'm not wasting your time you must survive that number one temptation there are men who have fallen like a pack of cards because they could not survive it if you are not hungry your temptation will not be about food to eat satan is not stupid he will come to you do you know a spirit called seducing spirits in the bible the bible says the spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith and shall give heed to seducing spirits and the doctrine of demons is that in your bible you know how seduction works seduction has no power over you until it unites with a need there has to be a desire in your heart for seduction to work am i right on that if you are looking for a political position chances are excellent that the weapon the devil the seducing spirits will operate in your life with respect to that desperate need 
so for jesus because he was hungry having fasted 40 days and 40 nights the spirit came the devil came himself and said you are hungry jesus don't tell lies i know you are hungry remember you are the way the truth and the life you are hungry turn this stone to bread turn this stone to bread abuse the use of it manipulate that power to grant your selfish and mundane desires and jesus said it is written man shall 